Okay, this morning we have the Eosheen E010 Inductrix clone. Copy, lookalikey, wannabe, killer. <laughs> Tiny little 150 mAh 1S battery in the bottom of there. And this connector, the, I think I remember seeing this on the, the WL Toys V9 11 fixed pitch heli. I've not seen anything else, but it's a little strange of them not to use a, a lossy connector or the, the little one that the Inductrix use and all the little FPV cams use, but I'm guessing that's so they can sell you a bunch of batteries. So it weighs mm, about minus three grams. <laughs> so I turn them both on, throttle to the bottom, and then throttle to the top, and then back down to the bottom, you get a little confirmation beep. And you're good to go. It's not the fastest thing on the planet, but it's all right. It's got some decent, <laughs> got some decent pop. Now th this transmitter is a little tricky to use because the sticks are so tiny, but it is usable. Just trim it for a hover. Oh, we're good to go. Now the wind's picking up a little bit, so I thought I'd come and fly in the little bowl. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. So that's your yaw in the slowest rate. Not bad. And that's your pitch angle. Pretty mild. Oh, it's leaning back pretty aggressively. Oh, I think I had something in the blades. I just saw something fly out. Okay. So, recalibrate this one. Both sticks down and towards. Couldn't see it flash then, but it did. And that gives you a nice neutral hover. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> this button on the right. Press that, and you're gonna get an auto flip out of it. Whoa! Talk about needing some recovery. I was trying to get a double. Sorry, little guy. Let's try that again. That seems to get a double out of it. Wow, it's some recovery. Once it starts coming down, it's got no torque. It feels like it's got plenty of power when you're flying it, but let that one descend under its own weight without adding a bit of throttle in there. and It's just going to wibble. Sorry, vortex ring state. So the left button. Is our rates. Two beeps for the fastest rates. So that's your yaw. Definitely faster.
Now, I read that this is supported by deviation now. I'm not sure if you've got to solder a module in or it's a stock a stock flash that will um, that will support it. But this with complete control over rates could be fantastic. Because it hasn't got rate mode at the moment. <laughs> it is smooth though. Even the lightest little breeze you can feel push it around. It's alright, but yeah, this is not one you want to want to fly in the wind. I'm not sure that this stock earsheen is going to be able to carry a camera that well. It's, it's got alright speed, but it's definitely lacking torque. This is the first... Oh no, I was going to say this is the first one with 6 mm motors that I've, I've flown, but I haven't. The, the FU... F1111? <laughs> the one that I put the little F797T camera on as well as the 126C quad, a little folding one. Okay. We're losing power. We're losing power. Not even got enough to bring it home. <laughs> that flies pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to be able to carry a camera. It's really dainty. I haven't weighed it yet, but it can't weigh over 30 grams. Maybe 40, but it's not very heavy at all. However, these little tiny motors, these 6mm motors, and they're not Chowley or Dark motors or anything like that. They're just, just box standard 6mm motors. So these. And that, they're going to need changing out probably if you if you you know fly some serious FPV with it. And it doesn't look like you're going to be able to in the eight mil motors in here without some heavy mods. Eachine E010.